Hello, Dr. Max here with another day playing MTG Arena. Uh, this is Try Hard Week Day 4. So today we are going Esper Control. Uh, so here we have a pretty all-around solid deck. Couple Planeswalkers, good removal, uh, card draw, things like that. So just going from left to right, cut downs, unsurprising. One Duress, uh, if you remember from the Demir video, I think running four in that Demir deck was a little bit too much. I think one's great. Uh, four makes appears, three go for the throats, one Sheldred's Edict, two Tenacious Underdogs, so being able to bring them back and get that value is fantastic. Four Trespassers, one Liliana, three Void Rens. I would probably argue this is the most powerful removal spell in the current standard just because it cannot be countered. Four Emperors, four Deluges, one Sunfall, a Farewell, and then a Kaya. So... Kaya kind of feels like a win more. Uh, I don't know if she is going to ultimately be something to, you know, win the game. If I'm getting her out, I'm probably already winning, but I could be proven wrong. Uh, two board wipes is maybe a little bit small. We'll see if I up those and maybe remove a Trespasser or a Liliana or something like that. But let's give this a go and see how it goes. Okay, solid start here. Uh, we'll be able to get the underdog online on curve and then have Void Run open. That seems pretty solid to me. Uh, Deluge will be useful if we get there. I well, There's 27 lands here, so I am, would not be uh, surprised if we draw land. Let's say. So seeing the forces makes me think enchantments. Simic? Maybe Bant? Or are they going... I think they're going all the colors here. Okay. So I'm curious then if this is the Domain Ramp deck. We'll see. Courier's Briefcase is an interesting one. Nothing in the graveyard yet. They could be holding up uh, a Make Disappear. I'm going to try and get the Trespasser out, and we'll see if they counter it. And that looks like a yes. No. Okay, so yeah, this is for sure Domain Ramp, then. Particularly if, they're if they grab something off Bant Colors. And there we go. Yep. Okay. So Domain Ramp, that's fine. See if they play the Invasion of Zendikar, depopulate. Okay, it's interesting that they're running that removal. So we have two options here. We can Deluge to try and get some value or blitz out an underdog. I think we Deluge and let them go. And here's to hoping they don't counter it. It would be very aggressive if they were running counter spells in this deck as well. Let's put out another underdog just to have a threat on the board, and then we'll hold, we're holding up a void rend as well. And so to me, that seems pretty powerful. Uh, on their end step, we'll potentially, unless they play a bigger threat, we'll void rend that binding. But they're passing turns, so then let's void rend. That also works, has the literal same effect. They get to do a play it again, and that's fine. They're wasting another card. We can also even blitz out another underdog and then hold up Make Disappear. Mm, 
assume they can pay it, can't they? They can sacrifice that. I'll cast it with casualty and sacrifice this guy, which basically achieves it, but I get the card draw. They are prepared next turn to um, potentially get an, out an Atroxa or a uh, an Atali, which would really suck. And I think they know that. So then ultimately we're just gonna try and remove that big card they play. Kami War, okay. Yeah. And then what will this do? And then it becomes a very, very big uh, card. I'm just gonna void run this. I don't want this to be online. And then in their yard, they have some decent stuff. Hmm. All right, let's trespass her. And just try and eat something. And let's eat their Kami War. Drawn back up, very strong. We do have Deluge online, which I think we'll go for in the next turn. And I think we can just keep eating stuff out of their graveyard. And I also want to hold up uh, Emperor, Edict, anything that is potentially necessary. I think we're going to see an Atroxa or an Atali, maybe even a Breach here. Okay. Yeah. Nope, I don't have the Deluge online. That sucks. Ah, uh, let's Merix then. Can't count. Still don't have it online. Uh, let's start the infect game. So we have to know Atroxa is coming. Yeah, there you go. While this is on the stack, I will have them sacrifice. So they'll get to reload. Let's see what they're playing with. Shigeki, another Atroxa, Endless Detour. Okay. So I think they'd take Atroxa over Shigeki. At least I would if I was them. Get out another Murex here. I'm gonna blitz out an underdog as well to get a card draw to try and remove Atroxa on the next turn. This seems, since there's some stick, tells me they have another ley line. Yep. Okay, that's fine. I may just honestly wind up cutting down my own guy in response. And we have a make disappear. Two, four, six. Ah, I think they're gonna have enough. All right, two, four, six, eight, nine. They will exact. Ah, I can counter their next Atroxa, or they're just gonna go for that.
I don't have any sweepers online right now, so I'm going to hold that. I think we've hit two of our make disappears. And then do they play Shigeki here? Yeah, totally fine. What can I talk Enuma? So three, I think I have five, eight lands. So I think we actually play the Takanuma here and then Deluge and see if we can hit a Counterspell for Atroxa. I wanna make sure we keep open uh, as many blue sources as we have. Mm-hmm. This endless detour. I wonder if I spell non-land permanent or card in a graveyard puts on the top or bottom. So they can keep getting their Atroxa back. If they yeah, can target it in their graveyard. And then Shigeki is non-legendary cards. So that's very good. Sure. They're keeping open, uh, keeping open that endless detour potentially for my deluge, which would be a real heartbreaker. But smart on their part. But I don't think they would necessarily play it there. But we'll see. But they're deep in the tank here. They've gone to through two sweepers of their own, which is pretty interesting. Now that they do have 11 lands, really 12, uh, the make disappears, don't even hit the Atrox anymore. So Atrox is coming down, we just need a removal spell. And we'll see if they play that endless detour right now. Nope, they won this resolve, great. I think Kaya. And farewell. Just some really, really strong cards. Kaya can't be countered. I don't think they're probably running anything along the lines of... And then she gives us a way to remove Atroxa. So I think we play a Kaya here. Again, I would be shocked if they're running counter spells. Okay, that's fine by me. Out comes Atroxa. To reload, very smart. It 
if they do play Kaya here, then I think we just exile everything. I'm sorry, if they play Atroxa, I think we fare well instead. Depending on what they hit. So they have a Ley Line, another Kami War. No Atroxa though, but they do have an Endless Detour, which sucks, and I know they're going to take that. Yeah, and they're going to play this smart. And so if they fare well, we I think we'll have a emperor open still, but I'm just going to exile everything. But they're going to just return this to hand. Yep. Uh, I think we can take one hit from Atroxa. And we'll just put this on top. And then he can just return it. So they're going to have this endless loop at this point, right? Oh, no. Okay. Let's see if they do it on their turn. Shigeki goes for that, sure. Thank you. Run away. Let's exile there, Shigeki. You're done. If they have another um, endless detour at this point that we're done. It's game over. But yeah, they're doing this to draw, I think, here. All right, we're going to try again. Do they have another endless detour? If they do, we're tapping out. Yep, all right, good game. I like the duress. Removal early on isn't my favorite, but we'll see. If we're playing against a creature deck. We're playing against something interesting, that's for sure. At this point, let's Rufine's Tower, and then we'll have Void Ren online. Black Market Tycoon. Yep, Lanoir. At this point, we're just going to counter this because I do not want them to ramp to a tolly. Missing our land drops, though. That sucks. We really need a land to get Deluge online. Okay. So they have successfully ramped to six at this point. So it's going to seem weird, but I'm actually going to try and get rid of one of their treasure tokens here. I discarded Atali though. Unfortunately, this is very slow. He can just add one mana of any color. I'll hold and see. They may have a uh, resurrection spell. 
Cruelty of Gix to cheat out that Atali. Yeah, love it. Very powerful. Do I hold up Deluge here? I think I need to. I need lands. We're stuck on four, so things are just going horribly here. And hopefully we can just hit a Sunfall or something and a land. But yeah, we've missed, what, two land drops at this point? So this is just a, uh, a real feels bad moment here. And we're hitting lands, which is great, but I think we're, we're pretty toast. So I'm just gonna concede. Two lands again, I, I'm not sure what's happening here. Okay, this is better. And I think Emperor unfortunately goes. So we can Sanctum into a Dark Slick Shores for a go for the throat. Uh -huh. And I'm not even just going to give them the choice here. Say goodbye. Sorry, Kurt Cobain. I apologize. R.I.P. Do they play Calyx here? Audacity, sure. We'll get to draw, but I think we just void rend. I don't want to deal with it. Very strong, very strong. They don't have a basic yet. So, ossification is not viable. Do they get another Calyx here? Or an aura, they could get a, yep, audacity, sure. Nope. Smith Zero, want to keep her alive and eventually get some blockers online. They still do not have. And they were going full control there for some reason. Okay, sure. Yep. Draw your cards, baby. Okay, that makes sense why they were doing that then. Stay Luge. Let's take a Trespasser. Another emperor, and then we're we're, oh, we're gonna cut down this visitor. They do finally have a basic. Let's start eating their yard. Let's get rid of right of harmony, <laughs> so they can't play that again. Yep, getting stronger. They can play an audacity. We're hitting the removal when we need to. Let's play out our shores. And let's attack. Do we go for the throw here? I think yes, and we do it to the visitor just so no more 1-1 um, one, one counters. Nope. 
Another Calyx, sure. 1-1 one, one on the Spirited Companion. Okay. Do we think they have another Ossify? I'll take this. strong surprise surprise Galaxies for them. Love it. Audacity. Sure. Let's see if I can, in response here, maybe grab a removal spell. I'll go make disappear and then void rend. And then make disappear can now counter this spell. So no audacity, they will create another token. I'll deluge now just to try and get some answers. And so now we have both uh, void rend and go for the throat online. Yep. And now who do they attack? Everyone towards the Emperor. What does this do? Has Lifelink and Instra as three enchantments. So I'm fine with letting this 4-4 four, four hit. The 3-3 three, three, I don't want to. So I'm gonna Void Run Calyx. Actually. That ossification. Let's void run this ossification. Hmm, doesn't matter. It's gonna get destroyed anyways. So let's void run Calyx. And throw this one. And I'll let them have the 4-4. Four, four. Even though at this point, I think we just farewell everything. Artifacts, creatures, enchantments, graveyards. Which unfortunately does take my deluge offline, which sucks. I want to see if they... No, okay. We're at an interesting kind of impasse here. Where Katilda's just going to get stronger as they cast more enchantments. So they will be able to bring this back online as a 4-4, which is great. Make him stronger. Do a quick cycle. Uh, 
Ah, uh, the lantern. Yeah, that's very powerful. I'm going to keep my emperor alive here by cutting down their Jukai. We'll plus again. Attack. We may somehow lose. They're hitting everything they need to get that value. And just getting the reloads here. So that feels really bad. Okay. It's a good rip there. She will take one for the team, but I mean with them loading up, I think we're done. Yeah, I think we're just gonna scoop here. Okay, this is fine. It's two or fewer. We'll get everything online and underdog early. We'll see if this is mono white, maybe. Could also be enchantments again. Could be lots of stuff here. Okay, mono white infect, sure, that's fine. Let's play this out while we can. And then hold. Play this out and pass. And we'll exile their might. Do they have another scroll Hive? Yep, very powerful. We're going to need that farewell. So Sunfall's online, I think for Emperor we just eliminate her and put a 2-2 on the field, and then we can Sunfall on the next turn, because this is an artifact, yep. So go for the throat, only we'll hit the companion, and again my life total at this point is not an issue. All right, this is allowing us to just keep putting that further and further back. We'll take, I think, one poison here, all Emperor, and just create a 2-2. Two -two. We'll see if they decide to remove my token. Yep, they have their own. You got it. They should start putting plus one, plus ones. Yeah, very good. On their mites, very strong.
Oops, nope, cancel. Don't want to do that. Sorry. Let's create a vigilance token. Block. Block. And that's as soon as they get three or more, they get lifelink and start bringing them back. I'll go for the throat this, just because what else am I going to do? So we'll sunfall here, and create a token, and we're just going to try and slowly get him out of this game. Those void runs would be really nice right now as well. Oh, going for the manual taps. They got something good. Lorne? Oh, yeah. That make disappear is absolutely worthless. I think here we go 3 3 at their emperor. And I assume they're just going to chump. Yep, smart thing to... Both of those are going to die, you know that. It's not your smartest move ever. The disappear could be useful for if they play something big. Okay, they can't destroy anything. Remember your training. Not smart. Those are bad attacks. Oopsies. I'm even just going to kill their Lorne. And then we'll take out their Emperor. So at this point, I don't think that... We'll get up to that, so they'll get lifelink here at the beginning of the next end step. Got him. Okay. So back for the post game wrap, uh, I just realized actually that my picture has been on the bottom left of the screen the entire time instead of the bottom middle, so I apologize for that. Um, this deck was okay, honestly. I think that it could have i think there's just some inefficiencies here i think the liliana could go i think the underdogs could go and i would rather at that point supplement it with something like an ambitious farmhand or something that would get me a little bit more value and then i would add more sweepers as well sunfall is super powerful i would run at least two of these and two farewells as well uh, Kaya, a strong card, but again, feels like a win more, uh, and I would add, you know, just more value throughout. But overall, maybe you'll get a little bit more lucky um, than I did, but I didn't have the greatest luck with this, but I'll see you next time.